password needs to be changed. Yeah, I didn't know that, so I got it. I figured it out. I couldn't remember how to get it. Okay, we're on. Broadcast? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another week of Beat It Die Trying. Episode 25. Episode 25. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's 8 o'clock, Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, Legacy Beat It Die Trying. Tonight, we've got some great people coming up. Go ahead, Later on, we got Tyler coming in to play Bass Blaster Master. We got Jeffrey coming in to play Bugs Bunny. Right now, Ricky playing Bigfoot. Take it away, sir. Get started. How long is this going to take, Ricky? Uh, 45 minutes to an hour, I think. Oh, man. Like a little bit closer. I'm sure you can Jesse stretch it out to two hours. There we go. Jesse giving him some little mic know-how. Spooey, welcome. Welcome, John Michael. We got some new camera angles. I got one right here. I'm used to it being right here. <laughs> I don't know why he moved it. He could have just taped, duct taped it up to the top of the monitor like before. So, is this like a racing? You're, it's you against him, right? Right. Who are you? Blue or green? I am the blue guy. You're the blue guy. Commanding lead already. <laughs> for Ricky, well done, sir. Ricky, did you play this game like back, back, back in the day, or? Yeah, it's my favorite game when I was a kid. Your favorite game when you were a kid? Were you like a Bigfoot fan? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. I like monsters. Wow. <laughs> it, <laughs> the game audio is like a little loud on my end. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, would you go to like uh, monster truck rallies? I would. You would. <laughs> Fantastic. Get that mic close. We want to hear every word. Right. That you stole <laughs> the mic from me. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it can be hard. I kind of just hold it there. Yeah, I think that was the password. I mean, <laughs> that was the problem, Spooey. Just a little password trouble there, but Jesse got it ironed out pretty quick. Gotcha. Oh. I almost jumped in the trees. If I you see jump that. In the trees, the uh, truck explodes. <laughs> Do you just, like, what happens? You use, lose a man or you yeah, gotta start all over? It goes, like, apart and then it randomly goes back together. Oh, okay. Oh, almost everything. Well done, well done. You're green, right? I'm sorry. No, I'm blue. Oh, you're blue. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're terrible at this game. You should have practiced. <laughs> we, we expect a minimum of 10 hours practice pre-game time, Ricky, so don't let us down here. Wait, you just made enough money to upgrade yeah. every single... <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> I, I don't get it. They said it just and then you have to watch him do it all. Oh, that's, that's cool. You gotta, like, watch these strategic decisions your opponent's gonna make here. The CPU... Oh, no, wait, he's buying every single one as well. Okay, good for him. This is what a car warrior's tanks could have been. Dude, oh, man, yeah. I'm sure we'll have much to say about a car warrior's when that night comes up, but it was brutal. Oh, wait a minute. Now we're, like, at a uh, 2D side view. Ricky furiously pressing <laughs> buttons over there. You can see his arms just going to town. Hey, I heard there was like some way to cheese it, cheese it right here. I was watching it uh, on YouTube, and the guy was like dominating that part. Yeah, you can do it with like two thumbs like this, but you have to be able to shift um, and use your boost on this one, so it huh. doesn't really let you do that. Huh. Okay. You can do it on the earlier stages, but when you actually have to, when you start like losing parts and stuff like that, you have to be able to maintain everything. Someone commented, Spoovo commented, this is like what a psych truck would look like on the NES. Fair point, I would say. What's up, Chichio? Welcome, our Italian friend, tuning in. Come on, Blue! Oh, it is... Yeah, I don't know, man, I'm telling you, there was some that, <laughs> that dude was just like, boom! <laughs> Out the gate, didn't stop, he was annihilating the CPU. I don't know how he did it, but some little... Twist. I don't know. Hell, who knows? It could have been tool assisted. It was on YouTube. You can. You can I just want to know why I didn't get any money. Oh, there we go. There's the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who makes this game, Ricky? Acclaim. Acclaim. Huh. Hmm. I mean, not bad game makers. <laughs> no LJN by any means, and yet this game doesn't look too great. <laughs> I don't know. It's my opinion. I don't get the like heavy monster truck feel from it. I'm getting like an RC vibe from yeah. this. You know what I mean? Give a little sob later if you can. Get my oh, oh, boom! Oh, you both blew up, so it's no big loss. What uh? Are you so you're picking up money on the track? Right, money and like power ups. Like there's the HP bars down at the bottom. Yeah. So if I can actually stay up on him, I can get him to do the blow up thing, and then he'll come back together. <laughs> but it won't let you go off the screen, so. <laughs> he blew up. What's that thing swirling in front of you? The saw blade. So, like, if you hit him with that, it's going to take away his HP? Right. Oh, 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 oh. 
Y'all are in the thick of it there. Oh. oh! Sorry, man. Looks like someone snuck some dynamite in your truck. <laughs> that was pretty sp spectacular. It's, it's, I can't even hardly tell like when you're in the air, when you're on the ground. I saw some tracks there for a second. <laughs> okay, so you're like, you're blocking them there. There's like collision detection yeah. on these trucks. Okay, you can't just <laughs> overlap each other. Great. All right, that's not too bad, then. Well, other than a strategy there. And you have to keep like going left and right like there's not a gas button. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So like you have to keep going like... Left and right accelerates the car? Yeah. That's the stupidest thing yeah. I've ever heard of. That's like one of those little scooters you would sit on as a kid <laughs> and do like this to make yourself go. <laughs> and that's how Bigfoot operates. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Not really. <laughs> All power-ups once again. You must have an amazing truck at this point. Here we go. It's all in the incline, man. You all got to overtake them on that incline. I don't know anything oh, about this yeah, game, but I'm telling you. Oh! Penalized. And he's already in the mud. Ricky falling behind. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Press that button, son. Oh, you're still behind. Oh, uh. boy. Not looking good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fumble in your butt. Look at you, man. You're <laughs> panicking over there. You're sweating. Don't let him see you sweat, Ricky. Pausing the button. The game on accident. John Michael says he wishes it was like RC Pro Am <laughs> where you can get better cars. Yeah, RC Pro Am, that was an amazing game. And when we play RC Pro Am, I want to see, like. Because can't you do four player on RC Pro Am 2? I believe you can. I think you can, too. And it would be awesome to have four people, like on the, you know, the NES 4 score thing, four people playing. I hope we do that when that game comes up. Don't jump the gun, don't jump the gun! Oh, look at him with a good wheelie off the line there. Still behind. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Press them buttons. Press them harder. Press them faster. Yeah, look at the controller. <laughs> you don't need to look at the screen, right? Just press them buttons as fast as you can. <laughs> oh, ah. doing rough on those inclines. Man, I'm probably making it worse on you, though, <laughs> talking all this smack. <laughs> the Bigfoot game blew donkeys, according to Pretzel is dead. Do you agree? Does this game it blow was off? fun when I was a kid. <laughs> 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 you know what? You probably say that about a lot of things, though. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily true. But when you're a kid, it's all awesome. Here's a question, though. Did you ever, like, call it, like fake skit, fake being sick, stay home from school just to play Bigfoot? No, I never That's kind of that. like the test. You know what I mean? You did that with Micro Machines. <laughs> <not. laughs> Micro Machines? Awesome. I mean, I did it all the time. I missed too many days. Huh? I repeated fourth grade. I played so many games. <laughs> but, uh... I did it for Rampage of all games, for God's <laughs> sake, but... Commanding lead here by Ricky. Oh, and he loses it! The CPU taking the lead. Oh, what was that? God, you just boost the head. Oh, Nitro. <laughs> okay, cool. Little dollar you sign. Only, you only lose the game when you go broke. So as long as like you're careful in the challenges and don't lose all your money, yeah, you actually can stay in it longer even if you lose. Okay, okay. Getting that left-right action furiously. Going back and forth. God, I can't believe they designed the game that way. <laughs> Got a six. <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, I didn't know that, Spooey, that uh, L uh, LJN was a subsidiary of Acclaim. That explains so much, watching this monstrosity of a monster truck game. Guy, you... Yeah. Come on, get oh, up. Wrong Look at him. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so somebody's pointing out how big the flag is compared to the little dude waving <laughs> <laughs> at the end. That dude's like miniature and that flag is humongous. You're not even getting as much cash as this guy. I'm wait not a minute. buy anything though. Yeah, so what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, after the very first race, you max out your car, that's it? There's nothing left to buy? No, you damage the stuff in this mode. Oh, like if okay. If you watch like the little the speedometer. Yeah. Um, it'll say when you start damaging stuff. Okay. And yours goes, you're just, you pegged yours out, like, right at the start. Yeah. Oh, he's got his up there now. See, he's already damaged his engine, <laughs> and that's money he's going to have to spend. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But is that significant, really? You guys are getting so much money. It act, yeah, well, you go bankrupt, so you have to win to get more money. Okay. The speedometer tells you when you're dying. I, I think the speedometer in this signifies, like, damage to your vehicle, John Michael. Ah. That you're going to have to repair with money that you earn in the top-down view. Yeah, I ran out of all my engine there. So... Okay, so that... Uh, you'll have to watch... We'll the speedometer is, like, actually, the speedometer is slowing when it flashes the words. 
So you don't actually know, like, you have to kind of, like, keep track of it, I guess? Okay, yeah. I need you to draw me a diagram of the HUD <laughs> on this game. I don't know what the hell is going on. Your tires start shrinking the more you go, is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> the tires wear out, they get smaller. Pretzel in here, he's uh, a fan of the game. What's that, Pretzel? Bigfoot's your favorite game ever and you love it? Okay, you got a fan in here. Pretzel. Maybe he didn't say that, but you'll never know on the replay because you can't see chat. There you go, there you go. Ripping off that starting line. Show him how it's done. Come on, Ricky, come on. All right, man, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff going on. I'm seeing damage damage, speedometer going back and forth. You got your stick shift going there. Tip is actually going like this. Your fuel's not doing anything. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> he won that one? I was looking at you. And Barely, yeah. Barely. What do you get for winning that? More money? Yeah. Okay. You only get money. You only get money. Yes. Huh? And you got so okay, so you got a hundred dollars. No, it's totally him. He got thirty two hundred dollars and you got a hundred dollars right there. That's a substantial difference. <laughs> damn, that's that's damn near winner take all, man. You gotta come on, Ricky, pull it together. <laughs> <laughs> now how do you how do you lose this game? Is there a certain amount of races that you No, it's when you run out of money. What if you never run out of money? Then you never lose. So this game could potentially go on forever? Uh, well, there's an end stage, but, yeah. There's, th there's like, a final stage, I beat the game. Right. It's okay. Are you going to run out of money? Uh, I might. You might? I might. But you might not. So you heard it right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ricky calling it right here, a definite win. What we always like to see on Beauty Die Trying. Don't come in here if you're going to lose the damn game, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you're playing your heart out, man. Well done. <laughs> oh, into the drink. Tips over the CPU a little bit. Gotta play that defense, Ricky. Don't let him get ahead of you. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, CPU got some nitro. Do you go... It looks like you speed up a little bit every time you jump. Uh, Is that fair to say or no? I don't know how the physics on that work. <laughs> I know uh, sometimes it can, I've seen them slow you down. So I don't know exactly what it is that causes that. Okay. Oh, I should have got that money. Yeah, you should have. I saw that coming a mile. See, I've already got more money than him now, just by... The game... I don't know. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I'm probably holding. The, I'm probably holding the mic too close. So. Uh, no, I'm good right here. I'm not holding. It. Yeah, I thought. I thought Ricky was a little soft. Hey, everybody, how do the sounds sound to you? Am I lower high? Is Ricky lower high? How's the game? School is all telling me the game. The sound is fine. All right, everything's working well. You were both. I went from zero to fifteen hundred. <laughs> Can I change? My <laughs> so we're trying to get like you know help from the chat, right? Like how how's the sound? Give us a little feedback. Help us out, guys, and we're getting all the different answers as well as smart ass answers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Time to earn that cash. Actually, you're gonna be spending it here when you do damage. Oh, you're pulling tractor stuff now. Tractor trailer pulls. I see an arrow on top of your pool. What's that signify? That's the... They have like a weight on top of it. Okay. So as you get closer to the end, the, this is how they work in real life. I'm kind of showing my redneck side here. But the weight <laughs> goes from the bottom to the top, so it adds more leverage and it makes it harder to pull. Huh. Because of the incline, so that's... Oh, see, I would have never known. <laughs> you would have never known. Thank you. Coming in. Why they made it an arrow, I, I don't know. But hey. in real life, it's just like a box. Okay. Or in okay. the 80s, it would be like put inflatable Budweiser cans on it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your uh, sport and your your Rad Racer shirt, right? Am I am I correct? Uh, it's a kind of a tribute to Rad Racer. It's actually making fun of the new Ferrari that came out because they named it La Ferrari, as in like the French word for the. Yes. So everyone is like, that's kind of a dumb name for a Ferrari. Right. Um, so it, says, it actually says La 308, and then in, because 308 was an 80s Ferrari, it's all 8-bit. So it's kind man, of a throwback to all the games that had Ferraris in them. That like <laughs> that just blew my mind on many different levels. You would have to like be the Riddler to figure that out, <laughs> like the classic old Batman show. I, I was just like, it's, it's an 8-bit Ferrari. It looks like Rad Racer and every <laughs> other game that had a Ferrari in it back then, so I'm buying it. I think it's cool. <laughs> I like it. Uh, last week when Jeffrey was here playing Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, which he'll be returning for later, he had his NES controller shirt on. Thought that was rad. 
Yeah, I've always wondered about that flag and that very little man. <laughs> yeah, well, either that flag is like the lightest metal on earth and nylon, or maybe it's Arnold Schwarzenegger down there. You always get that blade saw, that's pretty handy. Are you just trying to make sure he doesn't get it? Because if he had it, he'd be chewing you up. There you go! Send him spinning! I can't, I can't even like... <laughs> I can't recognize the... Oh, he got it now! Oh, there goes the nitro! You got it now! So he's almost dead, right? Yeah. His green, little green bar is about go. put boom, blew him up. Yes, Pooey, I got your reference. Yeah, now he's out of money, so... Oh, I don't know there. To, uh, Pulp Fiction. So I get to finish this one by myself. Oh, so you Okay, so... Wait. He ran out of money. So now what'll happen is that... So when you blew up, he had no money to come back to life with. Right. All right, there so you go. So what'll happen then... Oh, I'm gonna blow up. No, I'm not. Okay. The green stuff, you just randomly do donuts. This is actually Bigfoot, <laughs> not, not pinball. You're just bouncing off the sides there. Please pay attention. You win by default. Spooey, I think, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I wouldn't say by default. <laughs> you don't win by default. You have to, like, force that guy to blow up and, right. yeah, all that stuff. Not just by default. And the money's all tied together, so... Now a new guy will come in. I can't remember the second guy's name. Player one wins! Player one wins! Ladies and gentlemen, well done, Ricky! So the growler's out, and I can't remember who replaces him. The Charger. <laughs> They're talking about movies all of a sudden in chat. <laughs> Some of it. So the guy is roundabout way. You were talking about the Corvette or whatever. Le Ferrari. <laughs> Someone started talking about the quarter pounder with cheese or whatever the hell it is. How that picture. works. That's the way it goes anytime I talk about French. <laughs> A Ferrari's an Italian car, right? What's the what's the Italian for <laughs> Z? That's what it should have been. Who knows? Ripping off that start line, crushing them cars, taking them inclines a little weirdly. See, I see you take those inclines, and your car's like straight. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't like go up like that. <laughs> the other guy does. I don't know. You're gonna win this one though. Good job. You know what's weird, if I, if I may talk to people in chat for a moment and break about video games and go to movies? The guy who uh, wrote the book, Forrest Gump, right? Mm -hmm. And then, like, he was supposed to get, like, uh, money. He never got any money at all for that being transitioned to a movie. Due to something they call, like, Hollywood accounting, they were able to show that Forrest Gump never made a profit. <laughs> it's like some... <laughs> Some financial mojo they do to screw people out of royalties, and they did it to the guy who wrote Forrest Gump. Therefore, the sequel to Forrest Gump will never be made into a movie. I mean, not that it should be, necessarily, but that's why you'll never see it. The dude's so bitter now after not getting a dime. Come on, now. Nah, fumbling that start button, Ricky. Pull it together, man. Hey, you winning, though. What happens when you run over that fuel line? Does it... It gives you more gas. Gives you more gas. Yeah, because the tracks get longer, so... Oh, yeah, I see. I see. I see your fuel thing ticking down now. Because they gave Tom Hanks yeah, a hundred million. <laughs> That's a lot of fuel for such a short distance. <laughs> hey, well, you know, I don't think I don't think they designed Bigfoot to be fuel efficient. <laughs> you pack enough people in the stands, you can probably burn all the fuel you want. Oh, you're going across country. Yeah, I see. I'm in Tulsa now. Man. <laughs> Then you're really burning a hell of a lot of fuel <laughs> if you drive Bigfoot across country. I still want to know what the little pylons are. I don't know. I always, when I was a kid, I thought they were ducks. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's weird. I, I don't know. They're not giving you anything when you run over them. Is it just like... If you go through them, they give you like a hundred bucks, I think. Oh, okay. Well, then it's just like little markers that'll fall down harmlessly when you run over them, right? right. I've seen those before. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got star power. Right Why is he flashing? That's actually a shield, so. Okay. Cause people in chat are going wild for it. <laughs> Spooey loves it. Oh! You got him, man. You got him. Doom! You got him again! Well done. I don't know. It doesn't really seem to take that much time off of him, though. He catches back yeah. up pretty quickly, even when you blow up. Sometimes it'll even spawn you, like, in the Night pressle. Sorry. Sometimes what? 
Yeah, it'll even spawn you into the lead. Spawn you into the lead? Well, like then. when you come back together, you'll you'll land so you hit in front of the other truck. That seems ridiculous. <laughs> I see how it's counting your nitros at the bottom. You had yeah. none. He had three. Do you use those on command? Yeah, you can. You just push A and you can use them whenever you want. Do you start off with three? No, you pick them up as you go. Pick them up and use them on command. And okay. I thought they carried over to the next one, but I had like four after that one race because I was just going around picking up stuff when I was by myself, and they didn't carry over, so. Oh, uh, bummer. <laughs> You ought to get money, like, for whatever you have left over. Damn, you got a hell of a lot of money that time. They didn't have eBay back then, so you couldn't <laughs> resell it. <laughs> Prepare to race. Oh, that is some really good vocalization right there on the game. <laughs> like, I don't know, y'all remember Lee Barnes playing Bad Dudes, and when it screams Bad Dude, it's like, I'm bad. <laughs> I can't even do it how bad it is. It's worse than that. But it's, like, horrible. But that sounds really good when they say Prepare to Race. Oh, 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 I think you're winning. There we go. Well done. Crossing that finish line. <laughs> so it's all, is there like anything you do to get like a boost at the start? Like on how Mario Kart, you press the buttons at a certain time, you get that good boost? No, if you just start too soon, it's a red light and you can't move for like three okay. or four seconds. So you just want to hit the button at the exact right time. Right. There's no boost. When it's green light. You have race. a boost that you can use in this mode, but yeah. it co it's like a side bike, so it causes your temp to go up and then you'll damage the engine. Well, surely you want to hit that boost extremely, like right off the rip here, right? Right. Because when it, the weight, when it's not as heavy... Right. Oh, I don't know why it's shifting down. I won't know. Good job, good that job. <laughs> Spooey, you... Spooey. <laughs> Spooey got booted from the chat. You missed some amazing things, Spooey. I can't even tell you what happened. Just have to watch the replay. <laughs> Player one wins, 5,000 points. Why are they talking about points? We're here for the money. Right? What do points matter? It's money. Money's all that matters. <laughs> another <laughs> another NES game where the points mean nothing. I don't know. I mean, there's always bragging rights, right? That's cool. But <laughs> it just doesn't seem like that kind of game where you're going to play for the points. Yeah, New York City is the last stage, so this is third to last one. Oh! We're coming up on the end. You're going to ride all the way to the Statue of Liberty. Across the water, I don't know how. There's the man with the giant flag. Oh. He lost the lead. First blow. Oh, and the computer blows up. Comes right back together. Oh, and blows up again. Looks like a bunch of Lego pieces. <laughs> oh, God, he's doing terrible. And he's still not hardly penalized for it. I mean, does it do a bunch of damage to his car when it, he blows it? It does. Now I'm going to go get him. Oh, he's gonna, yeah, he's <laughs> toast. He's done. No, he's still got... Okay, if you do it again, he's done. He's only got $100 left. I'm... I'm oh, I forgot. Oh, money field. <laughs> Dang. Computer's done. Take your time getting that cash, bro. Nitros, money, gears. I don't know what all you're picking up. Money. Damn, you're scoring this time. <laughs> Racking up the money anyway. Yeah, the money's the important stuff. Why did they use the Chrysler building instead of the Statue of Liberty on the map? Spooey Vault wants to know and demands answers from you, Ricky. Why? I have no clue. Why? I didn't even know that was the Chrysler building. So, I mean, this game was made in America, right? To claim that's right. an American company. I think it's the Empire State Building, or is the Empire, Empire State Building, that's not the Chrysler Building, is it? No, it's not. I didn't think so, I thought it was always called We'll take a look, I wasn't paying attention, we'll see what it is on the map. Spooey, if it's not the Chrysler Building, you should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> Big ol' flag waving, furiously, god, that guy's incredible muscles. Last race is pretty darn thousand. difficult. Twenty-one thousand dollars <laughs> in favor of Ricky. Now it's the Crusher. New cr new car <laughs> coming in. Called the Crusher. I thought I saw him here earlier. He must have repaired since the last time he was here. How come I never find money like that laying around? <laughs> That's a good question, Spooey. If you did, you should probably turn it into a bank. Be honest. <laughs> Don't steal off the floor. Prepare to race. Hill climb. Here we go. I'm gonna watch you see how you change gears here. I have no idea how that helps. Oh, start chasing. No, no, I'll get it. Oh, penalized. He shifts down. Second gear. Up in the third gear, going up the ramp. Back down in the second. I don't see the computer. They just stay in second gear. So you want to be in a lower gear for uphill and a higher right. gear for the flats? Well done, well done, good job. <coughs> I don't, I, I don't understand why uh, someone's making a Metroid reference. 
last Metro is in captivity, the galaxy is at prepared to race. Okay, Spooey. I'm with you. I mean, I'm cool I, with Metroid. I think I know what he's talking about. Oh, they, they I like think, me. I think I can draw the conclusion there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't give, know. Give, isn't, give, there, isn't there a voice in Metroid that's like that? It is! It is, sounds exactly like that! Spooey, you're amazing ear. Good job catching that. Didn't even occur to me. Man, maybe it's the same woman. Probably not, but we can hope, right? <laughs> Speaking of Metroid and staying home from school to play games, that was the first one. That was the first time I was like, I'm telling my parents I'm sick. When they go to work, I'm getting up playing the NES all day long. <laughs> playing yeah, Metroid stuck. all day. Oh, you're rolling backwards. It's not looking good for Ricky on this hill climb. <laughs> no good. No good. It still damages your truck when you roll backwards if you lose, too. Even though, like, you have no control really? over it. That is bogus. Chichio telling us that the voice in Super Metroid was a man. Huh. That's not right, I've never you? played Super Metroid, so... You... I thought the voice was in the first Metroid. You... I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The man just told me he never played Super Metroid. Well, you know what? It's NES Nights. <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide. That's a Super NES game. When the stream is over, though, I'm gonna... Slap you outside the arcade. <laughs> yeah, Spooey Vault. Um, I can definitely see how Super NES best game ever would be Super Metroid. I mean, it's debatable, of course. Such a thing is, it has to be debatable. But I can understand that viewpoint. What are you doing over there, Ricky? <laughs> left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Come on, that'll get you up that hill. Ricky. Like as you lose stuff, he, the truck can't. Like as you damage it. Yeah. Eventually, it won't be able to make it up anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Hill climbs are the, are the toughest stages. Yeah, because... Okay, I see what you're saying. Understood. Crusher crushing Ricky on this one. Huh. Union. Or, union, is that... That, that, is, that is the Chrysler building there. Spooly Vault is correct. <laughs> you can definitely see by the pointed top. Instead of the staggered Lego style, it was like kind of pointed. It just now occurred to me that it's the same color truck that I started against. <laughs> <laughs> you get any points for crushing those cars? Uh, I think you get points, but not money. Then what's the point? Well, I thought Empire State kind of had a little bit more of a square, whereas Chrysler was like definitely... Eh, who knows? I've been there, but I don't remember. <laughs> He's got that shield. Stay away from him, Ricky. Stay away from him, Ricky. <laughs> You're far away from him. I don't know why. I just got to make it dramatic. It seems... Oh, God. He's going to chew you up. He's damaging you. He's almost dead, though. Oh, yeah, that was you chewing him up. I'm sorry. Got him. He's got plenty of money to come back, though. So I mean... So he came back and then got the boost? Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That, that, that point just seems like such a toss-up. <laughs> yeah, I think when the game ends, it's whoever has the most money that wins. So I think even if I lose the last stage, <laughs> I still beat the game. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> this game is like nothing but the money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fitting, I guess. Bigfoot is... I'm surprised no one's mentioned the birds on top of the billboard yet. Oh, I didn't see him up there. <laughs> Bunch of crows. That's kind of ominous. Why'd they have to make him black? I don't, I don't get it. Chichio enjoyed Final Fantasy VI more than Chrono Trigger and or Super Metroid. I, I agree, Chichio. I totally agree with you. I thought it was better than Chrono Trigger. Um, I don't compare it to Super Metroid, though. They're just too different. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem fair. You got him. You got him this time, Ricky. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> what happens? What happens? He's furiously left right in it over there. Got stuck in that mud pit. And Green is just taking the lead. Crusher. Oh, tying it up, tying it up. Well done, Ricky. He's tied up his neck and neck. Oh, Ricky's got the lead. Ricky's got the lead. You got it. You got it. Oh, I thought that was a finish line. It's nothing but a fuel line. Ah, uh, he's too much engine. 
My favorite game. Spoo, are you referring to Bionic Commando, uncensored version, being played next week by Daniel Berserk? I assume. I thought Bionic Commando was tonight. I thought it was tonight as well. I showed up, getting excited. Jesse said no. I think Daniel had something come up. So uh, okay. We're going to put that off till next week. I'm sure it will be an amazing run. I never beat that game. I thought Bionic Commando was a heck of a game, man, but I did not beat it back in the day. I don't know. Well, getting through that mud. Ah, I'm slowing you down, getting out of it though. Hey, you still in the lead. Coming up later, we got Tyler playing Blaster Master. Jeffrey finishing up his run on Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. It's going to be amazing. And of course, as always, the mystery intermission game. Well, he is, uh. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just too much he's, he's done down there. You got it. You got it. You're going to win this one, Ricky. I just got to save some money. <laughs> <laughs> There's something flashing. Is that That's something? a smoke. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is smoking. Cool. Nice little touch. It's all in the details. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Spoo. You want to group Blaster Master and Bionic Man on the same night. People just couldn't take it. Such a small truck. Yeah, wait. Why is his truck so small? Uh, he took away money from tires. Oh. To go into uh, his engine. Oh, dude, you're crushing him. You're crushing him, Ricky. <laughs> now, don't, now, don't make it too bad. You're just embarrassing the man, Ricky. Let him <laughs> finish this with some dignity, please. God, my throat is hurting over here from screaming. Bad dude. Don't even want to know how my thumbs feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they pointed out on, on uh, chat, it doesn't look anything like you're just doing thumbs. <laughs> you gotta hold that up. We're trying to keep this PG rated, sir. <laughs> That's off my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Good one. <laughs> All right. Coming up on NYC pretty soon here, right? Yeah, this will be the last stage. Is there any more... Uh, Tractor pulling coming up. That's kind of my. No, favorite. the last stage is a big combination of everything. So we're gonna see overhead. We're gonna see the hill climb. And this the overhead one's the normal one. It's yes. just gonna be overhead. Yes. Um, and the next one, for some reason, they made the cars like bouncy, so you can actually like the, car, the trucks will jump around on the cars, so it makes it a little bit harder to. Huh. Like we're gonna really know what it actually does for the game, or like it looks cooler. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Spooey wants to know how different you think Back to the Future would be if they used a uh, Bigfoot truck instead of a DeLorean. Oh, he's dead, too. He doesn't have any money to go to the final round, now. Um, you can't replace the DeLorean. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be as good, and it, I mean, it potentially could have been a hell of a lot shorter <laughs> movie, right? I mean, I right, don't, I don't think at the very beginning, even. Doc Brown, Marty in the parking lot with the DeLorean and the terrorists are firing on Doc <laughs> Brown. You don't have to run away in the DeLorean, you can just get in the Bigfoot and right. boom, run, the run that VW bus over well, the terrorists right, and, and move you over. One could assume <laughs> if he had a truck, he would probably have been a redneck. <laughs> and he probably would have pulled the gun on them first. <laughs> True. And the whole plot would have been about them going back in time to somehow stop that from happening and not having him charged with Perhaps. terrorist activities. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> I mean, if they're in a DeLorean, you don't have to go through time to outrun a VW bus. You can just they're go. Pretty, they're pretty slow. <laughs> you can just go down the road. They're pretty slow. And the terrorists are going to be in your <laughs> dust. <laughs> Whatever. You can't fathom back to the future. <laughs> I'm sure there's so many plot holes. I mean, that probably goes with any time travel movie, but you're going to be talking about, like, an 80s. Like, I don't know. Most water type movie it. ever. Try time travel, that crap exists. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so that crap exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> some dude just made a, uh, some guy just spent three and a half years working on a comic book. Prepare to rave. Yeah. Uh, Back to the Future, but. We also get blue dirt in this one. He drew it with uh, Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly instead of, uh, instead of, uh, Michael J. Fox. That's a long time to spend. I mean, that must have been a labor of love for that guy. <laughs> he really likes Back to the Future and or Eric Stoltz. You're way ahead. You got a commanding lead. Don't lose it. It seems like the lead in this game and the races can just like 
switch really yeah. quickly. For reasons I can't. There we go, there's discern. some bouncing. Oh, <laughs> there you go. 80% of it? No, I don't think that's true, Spoo. It was three weeks. Three works three weeks worth of filming for the first Back to the Future before they fired Eric Stoltz. <coughs> and I something I just read today I didn't even know, but uh like I'm a big I don't know, I used to be. I used to like that show The Office, I watched it until Steve Carell left uh -huh. it. The the woman who played his girlfriend, Jan, with blonde hair and her name's Melora Harden. Uh -huh. She played Eric Stoltz's girlfriend in Back to the Future. Right? But when they fired Eric Stoltz, they said to Melora Harden, they're like, Look, uh, you're way taller than Michael J. Fox. <laughs> you can't be his girlfriend in this movie. You're too tall. They fired her. Just because they had to fire Eric Stoltz because he was doing a poor job. It, like, crushed her, I guess. And they bring in that other girl who I haven't seen since then. I'm sure she's done other great things. Oh, there we go. Spooey says he heard it was a lot more footage filmed with Eric Stoltz than they let on. Most of the footage they filmed with him, and they went back to Spielberg and said, Huh. Spielberg. Man, that guy. So here, here's what I... We're just going off on Back to the Future. I'm not talking about Bigfoot anymore or whatever. <laughs> but, like, so that dude, uh, what's his name? Um, the really weird guy in the Back to the Future movie. Biff? No, yeah. What's his name in real life? No, 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 not not Biff. Uh, Ski... I think, I'm, I'm going to say Ski Dorwich, but that's not who it is. I know who that is. I can't, really, I can't remember his name. The weird guy who was like uh, his nerdy friend. His, he played his dad in the past. Anyway, uh, yeah, Crispin Glover. Thank you, Spooey. Um, he did not get paid everything he was supposed to get paid for Back to the Future. Like Spielberg, like flat out robbed him on what he was supposed to get paid. He didn't get. He didn't. Did you? Did you just win? I won did the championship. Did you just win? <laughs> Ricky just won big one, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. He gave him a round of applause. He got all the money in the game. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, look at those bell bottom <laughs> pants! Your your mustache and sideburns like the blue Dale Earnhardt cowboy hat, your shade? God, that's a whole picture there. <laughs> pants couldn't be any tighter. Game over. That's not fair. <laughs> I mean the congratulations screen is good, but you're not supposed to game over someone after they win the game. Well done, well done. You have the applause of everyone. Anyway, Chris McGlover didn't get all the money he was supposed to give him back to the future. He got really pissed off. He went to Spielberg about it. He's like, you didn't give me the money. I'm going to sue you if you don't get it. Steven Spielberg, like, ruined Chris McGlover's career over it. Totally vindictive. <laughs> Never gave him the money he was supposed to get. Blackballed him in Hollywood. That's why Chris McGlover only got, like, a couple weird roles after that. I feel so bad for that guy. It makes Spielberg seem out to be the villain. He probably is. Who knows? Woo! I just lost all my breath. I, d I didn't <laughs> breathe for, like, two minutes there straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming up tonight, we also got Tyler coming in to play Blaster Master. We got Jeffrey coming in to finish his round on Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Of course, we're going to have our mystery. Uh, that's the end, yeah, man. He that's it. demolished it. So we'll see what's coming up going to the splash. All right. We got more coming up for you tonight. I'm going to go spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> go spend them thousands of dollars of Bigfoot money, man. $3 three ways for everyone. Yay! <laughs> Here's a homebrew game that I haven't even tried yet. Homebrew game coming up. Jesse has not even tried. I love homebrew games. We're gonna see what's happening. <laughs> if we can get it to work, <laughs> it will be played by Ricky as well. Ricky, you cool to stick around? Play a little. Yeah, I can play it. Okay. All right. What is it? It's called Hoppin' Mad. Cause I have trucks. I don't know anything it. about it. <laughs> I just buy everything I don't have, so I've got some more coming soon. <laughs> This game's called Hoppin' Mad. I think Home it's called Hoppin' Mad because you spend a lot yeah, of money on it and it doesn't work. So Here it makes we go. it Hoppin' Mad. Hoppin' Mad homebrew game. Someone loved it enough to put it on a cart. Jesse bought it. Here we are. Are you right clicking? No. Hoppin' Mad. We don't know anything about it. I like it already. I like it too. The graphics are pretty good for homebrew right there. I've seen some terrible, terrible stuff before. All right, we are ready when you're ready. I'm, I'm are you going already, yeah. Where are you? You're going left to right? Yeah. Or right or to right left. To right yeah. to left? Can you go higher? You got to do something. Yeah, you can. Oh. oh that's cool. okay. That is cool. All right, so obviously... Oh. 
Oh, you uh, got faster too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude, that was way too fast. How, how are you supposed to keep up with that? I don't know, but you better figure it out, Ricky. Oh, oh Ricky losing way too many balls. If I get the heart. Do I get a new ball? I, I don't see anything here that is not dangerous to you yet. That was a balloon. Maybe that? No, probably not. Bugs on the ground. Oh, the balloon. The balloon gave me health. I okay, so I can't Let me see. You, you got score at the top left. You have one balloon left. Just can you count on that? And then over there, two. It's got a balloon. I don't know. I don't know what the balloons are. You they, got give you, uh, they just give you points. I don't you got know. three of them. <laughs> if, like, if you look at the top right... It's keeping track of your balloons up here. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know what they're for. The time is counting down, so there's definitely a time factor here. Hop over them bugs. Hop under them doves. Hop over those plants. Taking straight out of Mario oh. Brothers. Oh, you want your balls is white. I think I'm in Lance Armstrong mode. Yeah. Lance <laughs> Armstrong mode? <laughs> do what you got to do to win, man. Lance did it. You can do it, too. Yeah. You collecting all kinds oh. of No. <laughs> you got nailed. <laughs> <laughs> this I game is like the only score. <laughs> <laughs> one of the highest of the day. Enter your name, Rick E. <laughs> At least it gives you plenty of characters there to get your name in, not just like three <laughs> digits. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you probably couldn't fit your dynasty in there. Jesse gonna give it a whirl. You want on the headset? The fastest pass, uh, fastest case NES game, game I've seen, I think, right here. Let's see if he can do better than Ricky. Jesse coming Yo. up. Yep, we got you. Alright, what do the buttons do? Uh, I'll figure it out. Don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him so he can do better than you. Uh, uh, face. This game is hard. <laughs> Jesse immediately going off to a quick start. And then slow it down. Alright, so when you're white, it looks like when your ball turns white, it's not taking damage. You can crash into stuff. I don't know if it's uh, based on time or the amount okay, of... Okay, so I can... <sighs> yeah, there you go. Crush him some stuff when you're white. Ugh. Crushing the bees. Oh, I was I was invincible. I see. Yeah. When you're when you're yeah, flashing. When it's white. Er, I don't know if it's flashing on on the feed. It's just white. It's plain white. Yeah, it's flashing. Well, okay. no, you get both. And we still don't know what the balloons do that you collect. Man, that is tough. So you can bounce high. Is this only a one oh. button game? I don't understand. Wait. I, it doesn't. How do you jump? It would. Uh, oh, up? You press yeah. up to jump. Oh. Well, what do A no. and B do? Oh, it's up and A. Okay. Ah, keep missing those that hearts. That convoluted. Unnecessarily. This is going like so fast. My god, this game is so <laughs> hard. <laughs> so I can hear the sound of the ball bouncing and the bee buzzing by. That's the only sounds, I guess. Got that balloon. Miss that balloon. Crush something there. I can't even tell. Is this a domestic game? I, I don't know who, what country it was. Ma it's a home. No, it's made in the U.S. It was a homebrew. It's a homebrew game, Spooey. So like, you know, it's like recent. Some uh, dude made it. So you hit it. You hit the button and then you bounce on the next one. Okay. It's hard. Okay. Uh, 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 Ari. Error. Error. You got two. This one's no. not working. It's not working. Do you have to use every letter? Yeah. <laughs> so well, if, your name is, if your name is Ed, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> There's an empty space, though. Jesse not getting any of these hearts. I don't... You got that balloon. It seems like everything you get is just by happenstance. You're not necessarily, like, going to be able to plan it out. Well, unless it's the same pattern every time. I haven't been paying attention that much. Uh, Boy, that seems like a lot of work to memorize the pattern. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, like, time... Maybe, is it both buttons? It doesn't, it actually doesn't do that. When you press the button, it doesn't jump the next time. It's got trial and error, figure it out. You have to hit it right when you hit. Oh, that's tough. That seems difficult. Uh, that bird didn't hurt you. Huh. I don't, I don't get it. That white balloon. Ugh. See those birds too. That's weird. What turns you? What gives you the flashing invisibility? <laughs> Have you figured um, that out yet? I thought I saw a white bird fly through. A flashing bird, maybe. Maybe that was it. Nope. Oh, uh, that one right there. Oh, uh, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> you, can't, <laughs> you can't see anything. 
Just kidding. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the quick end this so to Jesse on now. <laughs> level one, kids. We can't even I, get past level one. I don't one. think Hoppin' Mad has anything to do with the gameplay. I think it's how it's going to make you feel. Yes. It's just going to make you so angry. I, I wouldn't doubt that at all. <laughs> if that actually is part of it. Oh, see, there's like red dots. Maybe they're apples on the trees. I really want to know of different like, colors. how to... Burst. Out of time to jump. Like, I can't jump. Can you at least control the speed? Oh, maybe because I only have two, I can't jump. Because I can't do anything now. Yeah, I'm controlling the speed. Like, I can do it slow like this. But you're going to run out of time. Ah. I guess time is an issue. Oh, do you have time? Yeah, it's counting down. So yeah, you have to... There's 12 stages, according wow. to John Michael. John Michael looked it up on Wikipedia. Wow. The Hogel asks, is this a 25-year-old game? Uh, no, I mean, he says, well, the PC version. I'm not aware of any PC version. This is homebrew game. So supposedly it was made by some guy, you know, or t some guys on their own. Oh, what? Hit me in the tail. Yeah, it is a fast countdown. They don't get much time blazing through it. It seems like the faster you go, I don't know, I would say... No, because those bees, man. Oh, yeah, okay, they're always dive bombing. Woo! Ah, oh, I was trying to get that heart. You have to know it's coming. That's ridiculous. I think you, I think it probably is the same pattern. It's got to be, because there's no way you could... Well, what if you just you go as fast as you can until it's too dangerous, and you don't have as many balls, and then you slow down to collect more balls and health? I'm probably Go as fast as you can, right off the bat. No, I mean, not necessarily as fast, as fast as you can tolerate without killing yourself. Let's see how far you can go. And, and then slow down and take it easy and collect more balls. You know what I mean? Collect more? Can you? I thought I saw him getting more. I may be wrong. I don't oh, know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's no good. Maybe a balanced approach is best. Okay, so it's forward and jump. At least I thought it was. <laughs> Man, don't. I don't get you wanna try it? Yeah, I'll try it out. You gotta try this. It's so hard. Don't try this at home. Alright, here we go. Alright, so hard. Left, and, left and right speeds you down, slows you yep. up. And then A and something makes you jump. I don't know what. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not even going to play to win here, everybody. Don't laugh. I'm going to play to figure out the controls. I'm pressing A furiously. I don't want to get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What is it? You jump high when you're holding the button down. Hold it down. You'll jump high. Let go. You'll be back to uh, it doesn't. I'm not going to play any better because of it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm still going to If you have to hold it... Luckily you had all that protection. Oh god! Alright, alright, alright. This is gonna be for all the money right here. Right. Oh, oh god. No. It, it, didn't, it didn't pan out. Okay, I admit that. It did. I'm just trying to watch. I'm not even watching the sky. I'm just watching for when the plants come, and I'm trying to clear them, <laughs> and hoping against hope that uh, I don't get hit by bees. Okay. Oh, oh, no, didn't Kind of hard to just watch. <laughs> it is. All right. What? Do, no. Yeah. Up doesn't do anything. It's just left, right, and then hold down the button, either button, to jump high. Okay. Apples give you points. Oh, I missed the bird. Is the bird one of the anything oh. white? I guess. No. The bird didn't do anything. No, I don't see how the white balloon did anything either. No, oh, stay away, B. Yeah, it didn't. Got the apple. Oh. Oh, the plant didn't hurt me that time. I, don't I think if you hit it in the right spot, or maybe if its mouth is closed, or. Too, oh. many, too many variables. <laughs> 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 Alright. Go away, bird. Get these. Got that. Got Stay low. Sometime. Stay low. Get that. Got it. Clear the plant. Got hit by something there. Got it. <laughs> I can't avoid that thing, man. Uh, uh. Ate it. Oh, uh, stupid. <laughs> no way. There's no way. Oh, uh, see? Oh, people, I'm in. Y'all gotta... I'm making John Michael play this game when he gets in here. God, no, missed the bird. Alright, no, no, no. Alright, I'm invincible in the front. Now's the time to haul. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Oh, no more invincibility, and as soon as it runs out, I get hit. 
So did you see? Uh, did you see my post about the lady that came in earlier? No. I say this lady walks in, and she looks around. She was already mad because she couldn't get on our website. She didn't say that at first, but I figured it was her. She walks in. She goes, "Where's all the games?" <laughs> <laughs> I no thought, You're kidding. I thought that she was joking. So I was like, "What do you mean?" And she got, she was really mad, and I was like, I, I could tell that she expected something different. I'm like, what did you expect by a, pl- at a place called Arcade Legacy? And she was like, well, she never really answered me. She just couldn't give me a straight answer. And I was like, just go to Dave and Buster's and get out of here. <laughs> and, uh, and they left. And they were they went down to the movies, I guess. When they walked back in, when, it, when they walked back by, the guy looked into the arcade, and he goes, anybody want to play some Pokemon? Like, he thought that would be an insult. Because, right. yes, people do want to play Pokemon. Yes, we love Pokemon. And, uh, I, in fact, I sold, like, three Pokemon games today. <laughs> so, that was fun. Well, maybe they were looking for, like, casino gaming or something. I don't know. But there was two kids there, there was two kids with them, too. And the kids were laughing at her. I think they were laughing at her. I don't know what else they would have been laughing at. So, the white bird hurt me earlier. Yeah. And, uh... That's not good. Hey, man, I'm doing pretty good right here. Not yeah, I, I almost thought she was trolling or joking at first. Where, Where's the game? <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have, lady. I can't believe there's 12 levels of this madness. Yeah, well, you're done. Let's, okay. get, let's get Blaster Master going. Blaster Master coming up, played by he, Tyler. He's actually got a commentator. So. With his commentator. So I'll, I will bid you all good night. All right. Actually, before we do that, let's change the... My job here <laughs> is to distract you. Right. It's <laughs> even more difficult than it should be. Right. Dad, let him beat it. Oh, I'll beat it. It's just. <laughs> so what's this? What's the story of this game? Uh, Jason's pet frog Fred escapes, lands on a radioactive box that, you know, just happens to be sitting outside, and then falls through a hole, and Jason goes to save him, then there just happens to be a tank and armor that fits Jason perfectly, and now we're off. Storyline don't make any sense at all, but I don't think a lot of Nintendo storylines made sense, actually. They were trying. There was at least some semblance of a story. Right, it's like the Europe version of Batman that has a completely different story that makes it sense. It has cutscenes. <laughs> right. It has completely different cutscenes and ties into the movie way more than the U.S. release does. Right. I think it was a, I think it was a beta release. I don't think it was the European version. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. There was a one-up power-up that didn't exist. Right. <laughs> You ever tear through uh, the cutting room floor? No. That's a really fantastic website. Uh, TCRF.net. And it's just like a giant wiki of like things that got cut from games. Oh, yeah, I think you told me about it. Games actually. that didn't exist. And I still think the best one I've ever seen was the one that you showed me with the hamster. <laughs> 
Virtua Hamster oh, thing virtual, was called. Yeah. Yeah, Virtua Hamster, that guy. That was... I'm trying to think. Unreleased 32X, Yeah, I believe. 32X. It's like super, super beta. Like, I think there's one level, it's super glitchy. Right. Boss number one. So what's your what's your time on this game? Uh the fastest I've ever beaten it was forty five minutes. I looked up the I don't remember if it was uh I don't remember if it was speedruns or tool assisted, but I think it was like 30 minutes right. around there. So that's that's pretty good. Then I ran through it earlier today and got through it in about an hour and five, and then beat it without dying too, surprisingly. That's kind of hard to do. The tool-assisted run of this game that's only around five minutes long is for the European version. It uses some glitches that were patched in the U.S. release. It's weird playing this on an actual Nintendo. <laughs> Normally I just play it on an emulator. Like, I think the last time I played this on a real Nintendo was, like, fourth grade, if that. <laughs> and I'm th 31 now, so, yeah, it's quite a few years ago. That's a long time. <laughs> we're old. Yeah, we're from the day when cloud gaming and all that stuff didn't matter. It was all about how many bits and how many colors. That we're was from, all you need to know. <laughs> we're the from the day when this mall actually had stores inside of it. Right. They're talking about Blaster Master 2, which it's on Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, and it's terrible. To this day, I've only played about the first two minutes of the first level, and that was it. It's like, this ain't Blaster Master. But, but we were talking about this on the ride over here, that you have two other games that are essentially the same... They're like spiritual successors to this game, which are Fester's Quest and Gremlins 2. Yeah. There is um, a Blaster Master game on Wii, actually, that's supposed to be pretty good, but I've never played it. Like, they announced it literally like two days before the actual release date, which is kind of weird, but... They like remix parts of this game... I'm going the wrong way. They like have like parts of this game in it, and then... Just kind of as a joke, they have like the hardest boss from this game as the first boss on that one. <laughs> And then they remixed a lot of the music from this one on it, too. Fantastic music in this game. Oh, yeah. Like, start to finish. Sunsoft games... Sunsoft have really good games. awesome yeah. composers. Batman? Yeah. Awesome music. As far as, like, soundtracks go, I put this, Castlevania 2, and the first Ninja Gaiden in, like, the top three as far as Nintendo soundtracks go. Oh, Ninja Gaiden 2 is pretty good, yeah. too. Yeah. I'm going to 
fix something. I'm computer smart. Oh man, I think I have mod ops in the chat room. This is bad news. Have what? If you use the grenade trick, I'm going to call you out as a cheater. <laughs> it doesn't count. I'm not using the grenade trick on this one, but I will probably use it on the second one. Just because that one is way too unpredictable. <laughs> Depends on... That, that'll be my desperation move, really. I'm not going to die trying. I'm going to beat it. <laughs> so That's how I feel about all that. I think the grenade trick's like the first glitch or code I actually learned <laughs> in any game. I'm trying to think. I know what the first... I know what the first one that I kind of learned was. And it was one of... probably the first NES game that I ever played, which was Kung Fu. And the last boss, like Mr. X, he's, oh, suppo yeah. he's supposed to be, like, super hard. And if you just, like, stand on the edge of the screen and, like, duck and mash the kick button, like, that's all it is. Right. He just, like, walks into it. I'm kind of goofed there. There's some guy, I can't remember the name of his website, uh, but he was, he's been hooking up hardware. I think he started with Sega Genesis, but he's like capturing high res flags of like tons of soundtracks off of real hardware. <laughs> like 2490, they're talking about NES music in the chat room. There are people on top of that. He, he was using some, like, terrible Behringer gear to capture it, though, so I don't know how. It's better than a Sound Blaster, I guess. If you... Zophars has, um... a collection of soundtracks ripped in the original format, and you need a plug-in player... I forgot uh, about that website. So far, it's been around forever. Um, I forget what the format is. There's a... I'm trying to remem remember the plugins. I haven't used Windows forever. I know there was a plugin for uh, FooBar that you could just, like, drag these formats into it. Right. Um, man. There's a player for Mac, and I can't remember the name of it. Well, there are two players. One does arcade soundtracks, and the other one does, like, everything else. But so far, it's had, like, every soundtrack for SNES and Sega and... That was another thing that they found on, like, 
that's on that cutting room floor website is like a lot of music tracks and like samples and things like that that never got used in the game, right. which is always pretty cool. By the way, they said I look like Rick at they said Rick at <laughs> <Rick Astley. laughs> <laughs> Want you all to know that I have flawless hair. Perfect. Yeah, you are gonna get Rick rolled tonight. I'm not gonna beat Blaster Master. <laughs> <laughs> get to the final boss, then all of a sudden we cut Where to never gonna get you up. <laughs> Never gonna give you up <laughs> or let you down. That has to be like the whitest song <laughs> I've ever heard. I always talk about it. Songs about monogamy are the worst. <laughs> I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. There's another one. He had another hit. Uh, never gonna give you up. Um, he had another hit. This yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I'll think of it because Chris and I sing it all the time. So, so I came up with. I don't know if I don't. I haven't talked to you in a minute. Chris and I came up with, and I'm gonna turn everyone onto this right now. <laughs> something awesome to do. Uh, it's called Satara Bomb. What you do is you download an MP3 of a Peter Satara song, any Peter Satara song, doesn't matter, to your phone, crank it up, lock your phone, slide it under someone's door. <laughs> we did this to my buddy George while he was sleeping. Satara bomb. Peter's Saterrorism. Man, I can't watch this on that computer screen, man. <laughs> it's like half the frame rate. It's like bugging my eyes. If I could re if I could remember the title of the other Rick Astley song, I could sing it. It wasn't it wasn't the same level of hit that right. Never Gonna Give You Up was, but it wasn't quite top ten. It was more top forty. I mean, <laughs> yeah, which is still a hit. Right. Please, someone Google this for me because it's bugging the crap out of me. I don't want to mess with this whole setup. <laughs> I have a Mac. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand Windows anymore. Together forever! Is that what it's called? Together forever! Oh, yeah. Why did I not realize that was the same Something guy? Like yeah. <laughs> Lanky white dude that sounds That sounds actually better.
boss is annoying sometimes. You got it. You got it. I still don't know what this is. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, you know what that is? What? I'll tell you about it here in a second. I feel like this is a reused boss. I'll have to look it up later. This is a boss in Batman. Oh yeah, the level four boss. Yeah. Wow, there I are didn't... like two of them. That was like, like really easier than usual. <laughs> wow, Rick Astley had six records. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna feel like a failure if I die while playing through this. I'm trying to beat it without dying. Did we ever figure out if someone has three life to Contra in here? I'm sure someone's doing it, but I have no idea who. Because if not, I'm about to sign up for it. <laughs> I might do Bucky O'Hare tonight, but I'm still oh. undecided on that one. That one's brutal. <laughs> I think the last time I played it, though, I got, like, two hours in, and I still wasn't through the whole game. <laughs> That's still one of exactly. the Exactly. Exactly. There are... Everyone wants to beat Contra, which is true. There are a lot of games that everyone wants to beat. And they're easy, and everyone has beat them, but you have to set kind of arbitrary goals. Right. I want to see someone in person... Which I can get close, but someone in person knock out every boxer in Mike Tyson's punch out in the first round. <laughs> the only one that I can't do is Sandman, and it's incredibly tough. There's a whole level of mechanic to that game that I didn't understand until like two or three years ago. And I can match the, like, human speed run of Mario World. Oh, That's man. my other claim to fame. We should do double switch in here. <laughs> <laughs> double switch is such a great game. You so are, underrated. You and I are the only people on the planet, I think, that com you, I, and my cousin competitively, competitively play double switch. Right. Like, everyone's all, like... Whenever double digital pictures comes up, everyone's all about Night Trap, but no. <laughs> Night Trap is the inferior game, and I'll tell you why. Night Trap is exactly the same every time you play it oh, through. Yeah. There's like a counter that runs, and that's it. Double Switch has the story traps, but there are a lot of traps that change. Right. I need a cigarette already. <laughs> you can probably smoke in the small. <laughs> Maybe not in here. Right. But it, as soon as you walk out the door, you, it's kind of anything goes. Like, I kind of half expect to see, like, gangs dressed like they're from the Warriors or something. Right. <laughs> just like... Go out there and we'll see the Turnbull ACs at one end. Yeah, just like gritty-ass 70s New York, man. Then you see Cyrus out in the food court yelling, <laughs> can you dig it? <laughs> Blaster Master Blasting again. Is that the new one or is that the Game Boy one? Uh, that's the... That's the one on, I think, PlayStation 1. 
I never played that one. And then there's, I've uh... I think it's called Mini Blaster Master on Game Boy. I knew there was one for... And then the one on... Either Game Boy or uh, Game Boy Color. The Wii I one, remember. I think it's called uh, Blaster Master Overdrive or something like that. Blaster Master Boy and Blaster Master Enemy Below. There That's are, it. There are two Game Boy. Yeah, there's two. Ah, oh, this is kind of like a really smart Siri or something right now. If if you or I just ask whatever, they're like, Google! <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That was cheap. There are a lot of cheap hits in this game that you have to, like, just take. Yeah. That's why I'm always exiting out of the car and killing these larger enemies with Jason, the mini version of him, just so I can save energy with the tank. Because with him, it refills every time you go in and out of the tank. Oh, come on. We have to play some rounds of Mortal Kombat 2 oh, yeah. before we leave here. This is... Oh, this is my favorite track in the game. This is one of my favorites. This one in 7. I remember playing this level the first time ever when I was like, I think 7, and I was scared of this level for some reason. Because like at the end of the music you hear the frog ribbit, and it's just like, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> It's like the frogs on this level. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of... I wish I had my laptop in front of me so I could mess with it. I don't... What other Sunsoft games had awesome soundtracks? We mentioned Batman. Gremlins 2 had Gremlins a good Gremlins 2 soundtrack. was awesome. Fester's Quest was awesome. What um, else did they put out? Like, dude, Batman... Batman, yeah. Batman is seriously one of my favorites on the NES. Like Return of the Joker had a good soundtrack too. I never played that. Really? No, I never played it. I was kinda I think I had a Super NES by the time that came out. I was done. Little did I know. Right. Man, I'm mad. I had a huge NES collection and I like probably a lot of people sold I went to video game exchange and sold all of my NES games to buy Super NES games and you know they give you nothing for them but what sucks is that I had all the boxes for all of them all the instruction manuals for all of them right and like traded them in with the game because they were part of it but Boxes are uh, hard to find now. One I'm of sure my, they got them here. One though. of my one of my cousins managed that store later, and I found out that as soon as they got any kind of games with any boxes in, they just like threw them away. Which some some of those games are like really rare to find box. Right. Now, knowing what I had, that was man. That was. 
that was par for the course before like Sega started the whole um, you know so all the Sega games like the case for the game there were no dust covers like Nintendo I had. hated the cardboard cases that Sega came out with that eventually was like, I thought that was kind of that generic. was the end of the system run though right. they were trying to make everything cheaper but yeah when you like you know the big Sega Saturn launch and we all know how well that did <laughs> yeah yeah like no man like Super NES games like NES games like they may have kept the they may have kept the instruction manuals at some stores right. but keeping those boxes it was like a space thing so they just automatically threw them away I hate this level TurboGrafx-16 has, like, maybe three games for it that are worth playing. I've still never played a TurboGrafx-16. They're, like... You I know, remember in elementary was, school, if was, you had a TurboGrafx-16, you were automatically the shit, but... It was 16-bit <laughs> era, you right. know. That's what it was up against, but... Really, when you play them, like, in the flesh, it was closer to, like, Master System NES. Maybe just, like, a little bit right. better. I mean, it did have some cool, like, uh, man, I can't remember the name of the second one, but, you know, there there were some really cool CD games for it. Dracula X. Right. It's awesome. Which I've played through emulation now, but... Why are you hurting your frog, man? Right. The one that you're trying to save now. Yeah. You're trying to kill it. Kill him twice in this game. <laughs> you're not shooting him with grenades. That's, oh yeah. It's love. <laughs> it's a love gun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. You're doing all right. Have we checked time? No. I didn't even check. Is there a is there a time that runs? I haven't checked it. Have to probably have to check it when it's once uh they're done recording. Shit. 9:26. You've been playing for nine minutes and 26 seconds. Huh? I've only been playing for 10 minutes. That does. Oh wait, no, <laughs> I'm bad. It's 9:26 right now. I was we don't say we're gonna set a world record tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Love wait, Blaster Master. Gotcha. I'm stupid. I'm halfway through it now. Yeah, I was gonna say, man, you're breezing through it. This is next is when it starts getting hard. Oh, whoops! I don't even have any hover. Whoops. I gotta sit here and kill enough enemies to fill it up. Don't need power. Need hover. Yeah. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. You got too hover happy, man. Yeah. <laughs> I have played the new Topia games. They are awesome. That's the handful, one of the handful of games that are good on Turbo Graphics to play. Got one. Splatterhouse is pretty good on 
Turbo Graphics. Alright, that should be enough right there. Turbo Graphics does have one of the worst ports of Altered Beast ever. I hate Altered Beast. Dude, okay, so when the Genesis came out, and this is prior, when did Sonic come out? 91, maybe? I think, somewhere so, around so that. The, I know Altered Beast was the original was, launch title. That was their flagship game. Right. Like, 91 was Sonic, and from that point onward, like, that was their mascot, but before it was Altered Beast, and it's like, man, when I saw it when I was a kid, it was awesome, Oh yeah. but to play that now is painful. It's just, like, slow auto-scroll. Every level is, like, auto-scrolling. I went the wrong way. Alex Kidd, but Alex Kidd, I feel like, was more of a mascot maybe in Europe or Japan. I don't remember Alex Kidd being super popular in the States. I remember Kid Chameleon being pretty big when yeah, he came that, out. Yeah, man. Top, has anybody done that? That that's game is Sega. epic hard. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think they're doing this for Sega. Uh, I wish they would. Kid Chameleon, super tough. Oh, yeah. It's iron. I think it's kind of weird that, like, one of the designers of that game ended up designing the PS4, and it's the same guy that created Marble Madness. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, what's his name? Mark Cerny, I think his name is. Probably replace... Replacing Sonic with Knights at the end of the 90s was probably a fantastic idea because there probably has not been a good Sonic game since Sonic Adventure 1. Everything else is... Maybe the, maybe the Game Boy Advance Sonic. But I think Capcom made that. That's why it's good. I think the last Sonic game I played that I actually liked was 2. 3 I didn't even like. 3 was good. Sonic and Knuckles is good. And fun to play through Sonic 2 God, with Knuckles. I hate everything about this level. Water levels are always the worst. I hate ice levels too. Like, it seems like Nintendo had this unspoken rule to where level 6 in all games have to be an ice level. Like, this has got one, Mario has one. I like the ice level in Mario 2. Yeah. I think on that it was actually 4. They broke the rule on that one. There are, uh, there are prototypes of Sonic Extreme, or one of the 3D Sonics that, like, showed up that was in development, and then you, you can, like, download and play through emulation. Right. And they look, as far as, like, I've never played them, but I've seen, like, photos or maybe video, I can't remember, it's been a minute, but... It was like, you know, their big 3D push is what this guy was saying. But then Mario 64 come out, came out and they're like, wow, our game sucks really right. bad. <laughs> Mario 64 is the only game that I have rage smashed a controller. <laughs> I broke one a couple weeks ago on a, because of, uh, what game was it? Assassin's Creed 3. I hate that game. Why do you play it? Well, I'm finished with it now, but... I'm all about my trophies. If I have a game on my trophy list, I have to finish it no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, that, Battletoads, and Mirror's Edge have all made me break control. Oh, dude, like, there's a new Mirror's Edge coming oh, out. Oh, I know, I'm stoked. That game is super rad, and I feel like not enough people played that. Yeah. If you have not played Mirror's Edge, do it. That game is awesome.
What's up, Wyatt? I need to stop Destroy first. Destroy him, Blaster Master. <laughs> Destroying it. Up until this point, because I think I consider this one of the hardest parts in the game right here. Just because I have to get through this without getting hit to beat that stupid crab. <laughs> 